It's undoubtedly a topic that's being discussed across our country, across the world, in reaction to the horrific and heartbreaking surge in violence against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders across the U.S. Uh, I think it really came to a roaring front right here in Atlanta uh, when there was the saddening shootings at a number of Atlanta spas around the area in which six Asian women lost their life. Uh, I think right as, as that PSA talked about it, what are you going to say when you can't say you didn't know? Uh, Kyle, you've, you've been on the arena. I think that I've always appreciated your words about this. As all of these crimes have come to light, what has been your reaction about the response and, and what we're seeing in America right now? Well, I think like everything else, these are important conversations for us to be having. I think Asian Americans have mostly felt unseen for a really long time. Uh, these crimes that we're seeing now, many of us for the first time, uh, they've been happening for a long time. I was recently talking to a friend of mine uh, who's, who's, who's uh, Korean, and I, in, you know, in a, in a age right now, in a, in a year, we, we, we talk so much about white and black and brown. I'm like, do you, do you feel like you fit into one of those categories? And he, he, said, he said, no. Hmm. Like literally Asian Americans do not feel seen. Their problems do not feel seen. But they're a significant part of our country. There are 23 million people. Um, and it's like 20% of our uh, me medical force, 50% uh, of S Silicon Valley is mm. Asian Americans. Like this, these, are, these are people who are deciding a lot of things in, in, a, in our country right now. And, and, and they're, you know, for us to just keep, keep on ignoring them, um, this, is, this is another issue that we have to tackle, that we have to be more aware of, and that we have to have more conversations about. Mm. I, um, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, on my social media, I put up a post and I had some words and, and I joined the Stop Asian Hate hashtag. And I started thinking about that. And I started thinking about how many people did I know that have real relationships with people in the Asian community? Mm. I do. You know, I, I think of Mr. Li Ning, I think of Mr. Hong, I think of Felix, I think of Joey, you know, I think of Carl, I think of these people who I know personally, mm -hmm. and I know their families mm -hmm. personally. And to me, this is about right versus wrong. And it's wrong to target our fellow Asian brothers and sisters. It's wrong to target them with jokes. It's wrong to target them with, with anything that can hurt and harm them. Um, it's about standing up for what's right. And what's right is making sure that Racist, jo racist jokes and racist dialogue is not, it's not something that you allow in your space, right? And so it's not enough just to put a post up. We have to step in. We have to say something. And, you know, I wrote this right here, and I want to say this. And in this world we live in, if you don't know someone, then you feel like that's not my fight because I don't know them. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, our fight in this world is about safety. It's about peace. And it's the, it's the ability to want to live life without fear, right? That's, that's all we want. We want safety, peace. We want to live life without fear. And so that should be all of our fight. It shouldn't just be the Asian American community fight. It should be all about fight, and it's time for us to continue to use our platforms and our voices to speak up and speak out and do something about it.